This is Dr. Constantinidis, and today we're going to show how photo imaging works for rhinoplasty. This young lady wanted to have a smaller nose for her face and a straighter ridge without as much of a bump, and she also wanted a little bit more of a shorter nose. So we're going to show how photo imaging can help to give an idea about what surgery can do. So the first thing we're going to do is try to improve this bump. And the way we're going to do that in surgery is to actually reduce the height of the the bones and the top of the septum, which are the two things that usually create a bump. By reducing the bones up top and the height of the septum lower, we can improve her profile look. But if we just did that, then her nose would just look too straight and too long. So we also want to try to create a little bit of a shorter look for her. That means the tip should be rotated up a little bit. This is done live with the patient usually, so the patient's going to direct what kind of change she wants to see, and then we can try to show that with the imaging. So for example, this patient, while she was doing her imaging with me, uh, wanted a tip that was quite a bit shorter, and for her that meant uh, a little bit more rotation. Now, having said that, we want to make sure that we're not showing too thin or narrow a tip. Raising our tip, I actually created a little bit too narrow a look. So we're going to restore some of that roundness because that is what looks more natural. And at this point, we'd say to the patient, well, what do you think? Do you like that? Or do you want to see a little bit more? And we could play with bridge height. For example, she might say, well, that looks really pretty. Or she might say, well, what would it look like with the bridge a little bit lower? And if she liked a little bit lower, we could sort of show, show that. And all this is really just dependent on what patients want. Now, if a patient wants me to do something surgically that can't be done, for example, in this case, we've made this bump a lot smaller, and I'd say to her, well, if she wanted lower than that, I'd say, well, I just don't think that can be done surgically because the nasal bones would be unstable or the cartilage would create too much instability to give a good result in the long term. Once we have an image that the patient likes, we'll save it. So here we are with our pre-imaged look and our image look and we can show those side by side and say well you know does that look good to you or do you want to see a little bit more and we can continue to play with the images appropriately in this case the imaging i think accurately reflects a, a shorter appearance of the nose still a natural look some people might think this looks a little bit too slopey or upturned or others might think that that looks just great and that's the wonderful thing about rhinoplasty and imaging is that to get a real clear sense about what a patient's goals are makes my job as a surgeon much easier. Here is her actual result compared to her imaged result. And you see that her actual result is pretty close to her imaged result. There might be a slight difference in sort of size of tip or orientation, but overall rotation, bridge height changes, all those things look fairly comparable. And we usually hit these within about a 5 to 10% error when we've compared them. Many patients think that their actual result look better than their imaged result. And I think in this case, that's true. She looks softer and more natural with her actual result. So that's photo imaging. We can actually look at the rest of her before and afters to show the actual surgical outcome. We compare her oblique views, straighter, better lines between brow and tip, very natural look, never overdone, and stronger. She had airway problems. She couldn't breathe through this nose, and now she can breathe fine because we've supported her airway as well. Thank you very much for listening.